Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to set up the main menu layout. Here are the main menu types, from the horizontal, to the vertical, to the overlay layout. Let's try the right menu. Here's the one. Let's try the justify menu. As you can see, logo, menu and social icons, or possible menu adding, are justified respectively on the left, centre and right. Let's try the left menu. Perfect. The menu is left aligned. With the menu horizontal position option, it's possible to set the position of the menu opposite to the logo. Here we are. The logo is now floated to the right. Last option is the menu full width. When activated, the menu becomes full width and extends next to the browser edges. Let's try the vertical menu now. When activated, you have new dedicated options including the menu vertical alignment, the menu horizontal alignment, as well as the specific vertical menu width to set the width of the lateral menu bar. Perfect. We have a layout with a fixed position lateral menu. Other cool menu layout options is the off canvas. The menu is outside the viewport and slides in when triggered, something like a hidden lateral menu. Then there is the overlay menu option. In the overlay menu, the menu is initially hidden and when triggered by the burger icon, an overlapping layer appears to cover the entire page presenting the menu. This definitely gives a modern minimal touch to the website. To continue the tutorial, I reactivate the horizontal justify menu layout. In the visual tab, there are, as suggested by the name, visual properties of the menu, as the menu divider shadow, the menu borders, the transparency, and the vertical padding controls. Let's give it a try. And here's the result. In the animation tab, there are properties that define the behavior and animations of the menu. When menu sticky is activated, the menu is locked or fixed at the top of the page so that it does not disappear when the user scrolls down the page. We can see the menu that remains sticky at the top of the page. When menu hide is activated, the menu hides after the user has scrolled down the page to free up space and give more focus to the contents. It's possible to see that after scrolling the page, the menu slides out and only slides in when we scroll upwards. In a few words, hence the name, the menu is hidden when we descend. This is the reading phase of the contents and shows when we scroll up to go back to search for the main navigation. When menu shrink is activated, the logo shrinks after the user has scrolled down the page to minimize the menu layout. Here it is in action. As we can see when we shake, the logo becomes smaller and consequently all the navbar is minimized. In the additionals group, you have different options to extend the functionalities of the Uncode main navigation. Here you can find options such as the secondary menu that we can activate to test, the social icons that I can deactivate, the search icon or the shopping cart icon. Let's try it. Well, here is our secondary menu and the search and cart icon instead of socials. Pretty cool.